going to do a quick video on this Red Hound Odo uh, Cadillac Q screen protector. And this is uh, more like a phone screen protector, if you will. It just goes over the top of the, the screen of the Q system in the car, the flat screen monitor. And will protect it from scratches and everything else that goes along with that. This is the kit. It's about uh, a little under $20.00. And it's got mixed reviews. Most of the bad reviews come from people who didn't read the directions or do it correctly as far as the installation. Uh, but uh, if you follow the instructions, it's a pretty straightforward application. It is a wet application instead of a dry application, so it is a little bit more involved. But it uh, comes with uh, this here, which is the uh, squeegee. You can push out all the air bubbles, uh, the rest of the fluid. And this is some of the cleaning alcohol prep pads, although. I've heard some of the bad reviews on there kind of mentioned that that kind of made their screen fuzzy. I personally used some cleaning products that came with a phone screen protector. Uh, it seemed like it was a little less mild and uh, worked better for cleaning the screen. And then a little spray bottle for the wet solution that you need to mix and the instructions. And it is pretty lengthy instructions. It does say read it through once or twice. Make sure you understand them real thoroughly. First step is really just clean the screen of your Cadillac Q and uh, make sure that it's, you know, perfect essentially and again I used uh, the cleaning applications from a, a phone screen applicator but uh, then you also have to on step two is mix this solution that they're asking you to do and uh, if they say if you mix about two to three drops of baby shampoo for a small four to six ounce bottle uh, that should do the trick as far as what kind of consistency you want with the mild uh, mixing solution but uh, we're going to go ahead and mix that up here and then we'll go to the car and then do a quick installation. Okay, I have my mild slip solution made here. Just a few drops of baby uh, solution. This is about a, I'd say a five ounce bottle. So, you know, two to three drops in this bottle filled up should do the trick. Um, this is uh, the screen protector I'm gonna use. There is a second one in case you do end up screwing up, which is really nice. Uh, and then here's the squeegee here that we're gonna use to get some of the water out after the fact, after we install it. The only thing you really need other than that would be a couple paper towels or microfiber cloths. That's what I'm using there. And that's uh, to grab any of the excess water and kind of dry it off after the applications are made. And uh, it is a, a bit of a, an explanation here. I'm going to try my best trying to get this on camera for you guys. But ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to take the slip solution here. We're going to spray your fingers so the oils of your fingers don't easily apply to the adhesive as you remove the backing of this film. And uh, as we... Uh, peel this back once we've wetted our fingers we're going to spray the uh, the adhesive side as we pull down the, the removing screen protector so uh, every couple inches we're going to do another couple sprays and uh, once we have the uh, screen protector off then we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that it's completely wettened and moistened and then uh, let it drip dry or I should say just drip off the excess amounts and then apply this directly to your Cadillac Q screen and since it is a wet application, what you'll be able to do is then move it into place, kind of sliding it around, which is why you want the mild slip solution. And uh, once you have it in place there, then we're going to use the squeegee, which we've then pre-moistened already again ahead of time just by spraying it down a couple times and setting it on our microfiber cloths. If you can, try to reapply the uh, slip solution there if it's dried up a little bit. But uh, we're going to utilize that and the microfiber cloths to go ahead and uh, push out the excess amounts of, of solution and dry it, essentially get it to where we need it to be uh, without moving this, the protector on the screen itself. So I'll set the camera up here. Hopefully we get a good shot of it as I do it. But uh, uh, that's kind of the process and it's fairly easy once you kind of get the hang of it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is just wetten down our... Uh, applicator or squeegee here just by spraying it a few times outside the car. Both sides and then just setting it on a microfiber cloth wait for the next step. But uh, next step officially after that is wetting down your fingers to be able to remove the screen protector uh, back in here. So we're going to go ahead and wet our fingers down. And it's a very important step. You don't want your fingers to have uh, any kind of impressions left behind on the protector itself. It's going to go like that, make sure they're wet. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the backing on this. And uh, as we do this, we're going to be spraying the adhesive side as we pull it off, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my fingers again, just to make sure they're nice and wet. And then I'm going to pull and spray, making sure I'm getting my applicator 
Put my uh, slip solution on the screen as it goes down. Making sure every part of it's got a little moisture on there. solution on there, we're just going to let it drip off, we get the excess amounts off there. And now we can go ahead and apply it on our screen. And the nice part about the wet application is that once it's on there, you guys can see that, to be able to move it or slide it around to where you actually need it, which is kind of nice. And uh, you just want to make sure that all the corners are kind of where you need them. And the screen protector is in the position that you want it, which is kind of just right down towards the bottom of this liner here. Just kind of let it rest on there, really. And then just kind of left or right to the right position there. Making sure you're covering the whole screen. that and once you're happy with that position then we can go ahead and start getting off the excess amounts of uh, moisture or slip solution with our microfiber cloth and a squeegee Okay, we have the screen protector in place and installed. And as you can see, it turned out pretty well. A couple things to note is that you'll notice initially when you first put it on that there's a little bit of cloudiness to it and perhaps you have, like I do, a little bit of the bubbles in there. That's okay, that's gonna be natural and that's gonna happen. Uh, that stuff will evaporate on its own as time goes on and you won't see those. So they're, and in fact, they're only really, you can only make them out when the screen is either off or completely black like it is now and uh, otherwise it's really not even you can't even see it uh, so there's it when the screen is just off completely when i turn on the car you'll notice it just disappears but ultimately those will disappear when it evaporates uh, another thing to note is that uh, this q screen protector here is uh, a self it uh, what they call self-healing so if it gets scratched generally if the scratch is small enough it will kind of fill itself in i think it's when the heat heats it up it kind of just mold itself and it's you can almost feel it's got that kind of application to it uh, the material itself and it shouldn't show your fingerprints as much as the original q screen which is a nice feature as well and ultimately uh, they say when you have this on here like your backup screen camera and stuff like that for your camera will look much clearer it um, gives it more of a high definition look to it so we'll start the car here We'll show you what it looks like when the uh, screen is on. Hopefully you guys were able to make out the installation part of the process there. They, like I said, the camera was a little bit more difficult to get that uh, angle on there for the installation. But there you go. As you can see, it's fairly clean. You can't see any of those spots on there. And uh, we'll go ahead and put it in reverse so you can kind of see that. And, uh, you know, I actually do see a noticeable difference as far as the clarity of it. There isn't the glare. I think that's probably what's, what it's doing is it's removing the glare from your screen, which is really nice. So it does actually uh, uh, crispen up the picture quite a bit and is uh, pretty nice. So uh, overall, I really like it. It wasn't a hard installation process. We're looking at about maybe, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes total prep time and then uh, right to the finish. So not very bad at all. Just take your time. It is nice, again, that they come with that second uh, screen protector in case you do mess up the first one but as long as you follow the instructions moisten use that that mild slip solution uh, is like it's intended to be used don't be scared of it uh, you don't get it on your 
uh, rest of your stuff there so you don't have to worry about that you don't spray the the radio itself it really just goes on the screen protector but make sure you moisten it well and uh, if you do that the screen protector will will turn out real nice on here for you so uh, overall really like it for 20 bucks to protect the, the Cadillac Q protector uh, which is known for being able to be scratched and show fingerprints yeah, it's a really nice uh, upgrade there hope it helps somebody out if you have any questions though feel free to let me know as but uh, thanks for watching until next time take her easy